Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to the Optimal Living 101 Masterclass Series. Today, I'm excited to chat about Optimizing Algorithms 101. How to become an Optibot, which of course is short for an Optimizing Robot, and program yourself to reach your infinite potential. As always, we have 10 big ideas. Let's take a quick look and then we'll dive in deep. The first big idea is an algorithm. What is an algorithm? Why should you care? Well, Professor Yoval Noah Harari tells us in Homo Deus that an algorithm is the most important concept of the 21st century. Algorithms, understanding them, he says, is the most important thing that you can understand for the 21st century. It's a pretty powerful statement. We'll talk about the three big projects of humanity he describes in his book, Homo Deus, immortality, happiness, and divinity, and how your happiness is connected to, essentially, your ability to write effective algorithms. We'll talk about um, jobs in the year 2033, the percent likelihood of cashiers having jobs vis-a-vis -vis robots doing those jobs. We'll talk about Teslas. How is it that a Tesla drives itself? Algorithms, algorithms, algorithms. It's all algorithms. Second big idea, two AIs plus two thermostats. So you have Professor Harari, genius intellectual, telling us algorithms are important. Then you have Ray Dalio, genius billionaire, one of the most successful and wealthiest people in the world. What does he tell us? He tells us that, I quote, the most important language, I paraphrase rather, that you and your kids can learn in the 21st century is how to write algorithms. Now he's talking about artificial intelligence. We're gonna talk about another AI, ancient intelligence. Artificial intelligence, a little over 50 years old. 1959, Dartmouth, brilliant guys and ladies came up with this idea of artificial intelligence. Well, guess what? 500 million years ago, we had ancient intelligence in our basal ganglia. Behaviors that were repeated became ingrained. What were those behaviors? How do we use that today? Algorithms. We're going to talk about programming your thermostat in your house via an algorithm to stay warm. Same thing with your life. You want happiness? Learn how to program algorithms. The third big idea is to connect those two guys to modern positive psychology. Guess what? The number one psychological behavioral hack is an algorithm. They call it if then, imp implementation intentions. If this happens, then I will do that. It is the way you use your finite willpower wisely to install habits that run on autopilot. If then implementations, that's nothing more than an algorithm. So now that we've established the high level why algorithms matter, we will then move on to the fourth big idea, which is 101 algorithms. I'm gonna challenge you to do an exercise. Spend an hour, tilt your head to the side, let all the little algorithms that currently run your life come out on a piece of paper. We wanna shine a spotlight of attention on the algorithms that are currently running your show. Some of them are great. Maybe they changed your life, they're awesome. Some of them probably need work. We wanna, again, look at those algorithms. And then in the next idea, number five, and I'm gonna share with you my 101 algorithms that came out when I spent an hour doing that exercise, right? Then we're gonna move into our 11 power algorithms. I will share my 11 most powerful algorithms that run my life, right? Algorithm, robot, do this, boom. Help me create the life I have. And then of course, continuing to optimize those. I'm gonna challenge you to discover your 11 power algorithms. The sixth big idea, we're gonna get into the details of how to uh, write an optimizing algorithm. Rule number one, or I should say rule number zero, is what? Can you guess the number one rule of writing effective optimizing algorithms? Well, here's a hint. You need to have a target. A Tesla has a target. Drive safely to a destination. Let's say you have an autonomous car. What's your target? I'm gonna suggest that your ultimate target should be happiness, but not in the, in the uh, kind of shallow sense of happiness we take it these days, in the deepest sense. Eudaimonia, good soul, this sense of flourishing. And then I'm gonna introduce you to your programmer. Who's your programmer? That inner soul. We want that inner soul to program us 
to be our best selves. We'll have fun with that one. That's actually probably my favorite idea. And then our seventh big idea, we're gonna revisit the attention spotlight that we're putting on your algorithms. And we're gonna start to go through our days and see the, the meta opportunities to write algorithms and the little micro opportunities. Every single moment affords you an opportunity to write a better algorithm. And we're not gonna go crazy about it. We wanna have fun looking at it and saying, okay, how is my sitting algorithm? How about my standing algorithm, my breathing algorithm, my nutrition algorithm, etc.? We wanna shine our spotlight of attention on the different algorithms that might currently be unconsciously uh, running behind the scenes, but they're running. So we wanna uh, become more aware and notice which ones are working, which ones aren't. The ones that are working, do more of that. The ones that aren't working, needs work, optimize, etc. Our eighth big idea, is to drill it down into even more practical detail. We're gonna talk about your keystone algorithms and we're gonna talk about your kryptonite algorithms. We're gonna drop this into our big three that we talk about all the time. Energy, work, and love. What's your number one keystone for each of those? And what's your number one kryptonite for each of those? Again, shine your attention on that. Then we're gonna talk about the big T, the big three, energy, work, and love, the big T, technology. Our last class was Conquering Digital Addiction 101. The reality is 21st century, technology is washing over us and we need to get really, really good at writing algorithms that help us interact with technology such that we use it as a tool rather than be a tool. So we're gonna talk about uh, your declaration of independence slash optimization with technology. Again, another little exercise. I'm gonna share with you my 11 things that I've done algorithmically to deal with the big T. It leads us to our ninth big idea. We're gonna create masterpiece algorithms. So algorithm is spelled A-L-G-O-R-I-T-H-M, algorithm. Well, when you program algorithms, you create algorithms in your life, R-H-Y-T-H-M-S. Algorithms equals rhythms in your life. We wanna take the best algorithms and create masterpiece days and masterpiece weeks, which leads to our masterpiece lives. We'll talk about how to go about doing that. And then finally, our 10th big idea is machine learning. Machine learning, so the crazy thing about machines is that programmed properly, they can actually learn. They can get better as they go through their algorithms and process incoming data to become better. Well, we wanna approach our lives in a similar way and realize this is a constant and never-ending optimization process, right? We're constantly evolving into the next best version of ourselves, taking in all the data, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, and programming that Optibot such that we can reach our infinite potential. That is a quick look at this class. I'm excited to jump in. Next step, go to optimize.me and sign up today.